Good morning, my YouTube friends and family. So, how y'all doing this morning? It's kind of early this morning. Today's Monday, um, June 29th. Um, June 22nd. I'm sorry. You know, Miss Peggy's wrong. Today is June 22nd. Tomorrow is June 23rd. The penny list. So, at 8 o'clock... Tomorrow morning, at your Dollar Generous, be there when the doors open. Because we have some candy on the penny list this week. So, um, there is one, two, three, four candies. And there is three different hairbrushes. I don't know about you, but I could use a new hairbrush. So, um, tomorrow on the 23rd, these are going to penny. But... Before I show you those pennies, I want to show you Miss Peggy's been penny shopping. Um, I had to go out to do some essential shopping, and I wear my mask. I use my hand sanitizer before I get out the car, and then when I get back in the car, before I take my mask off, I do my hand sanitizer again. And uh, then I take my mask off. So every time I go in a store, I wear my mask. So I say let's be safe and let's protect our others and protect everybody. So wearing a mask to me is being responsible. Showing that you care about others. So I hope this goes away soon because I'm really getting tired of it. But anyway... I wanted to show you, um, I went penny shopping in the last three days. So, um, let's see what day this is. This is going to be the 20th, so that's going to be on Saturday. So, um, this is at a store that I don't ever go to. I had to go Saturday I had to go out and look for some tennis shoes because um, Robert has to be a pallbearer at my mother-in-law's funeral tomorrow and his tennis shoes just look terrible. So I had to go out looking for some new shoes. So you know when I'm looking at shoes and I'm pulling in, if I pass a DG, my car is going to pull in there. <laughs> so I can't help it. But anyway, I want to show you um, these uh, two stores that I went to. So, you know, I look high and I look low and I dig under stuff and I look under stuff. So, um, even if the, uh, these, this right here is a little purse. And this store has open cabinets underneath their clothes. So, this was just laying on the floor underneath the bottom rack on the clothes aisle. And it is, look at that, it's a beautiful blue dot. And being a blue dot, I wasn't sure if it was a new blue dot or an old blue dot. But it doesn't have a date on the back at all. But I know that I had already found some of these little coin purses with the little cat, cat ears on it. Isn't that so cute? So... The old ones are out there. And I was just determined to find a penny. So I sat down on the floor and started digging under the clothes. And I also found this. Now last year I had a whole bunch of these on mine. I had the whole box that they go in the case. And these are yellow dot little bracelets. See the yellow dot right there. And uh, it said S19 on the back. So that sh indicated to me that it was a last year's yellow dot. So, and it has two little bracelets with it. And um, so it's an old yellow dot. So I found those two pennies at this store. And you can see... That I just paid a penny for it. And I keep hearing people say 
I don't believe that this penny thing is even real. So I don't know why they would believe that, but show them the receipts that we show because I always show my receipts so that you know that I paid a penny for it. So then I went to this other store and it was on Wednesday and Wednesday was just the day after the penny shopping started last week. And I really wanted to try to find some of, um, and I wanted some of that Sloppy Joe mix, but I didn't find any. But anyway, I had to go across the street just for some soda, and it was a necessary trip. So while I was there, I started digging in a box that had balls in it. And in this box of balls, I dug down into the bottom and I pulled this out of the bottom of the box of balls. And it is just a ruler. It's a slide ruler. It's got the little slide thing in there. Finger grip ruler. It's not a slide ruler. But anyway, it's metric. And um, it was in the bottom of the box of balls that the little kids play with. So, I found that penny. And that penny is on the bottom of this receipt where it says the last item was a ruler. And it was a penny for Miss Peggy on Wednesday on Wednesday the 17th so I just had to find one I just don't like to leave a store without one but then at this next store I went to it's in my area it's where, close to where I get my medication at the drugstore and I was determined I was going to find some pennies so, um, these pennies were underneath the clothes. This store has a lot of clothes, and there are a lot of messy clothes underneath the rack of the clothes. Not underneath the rack, but laying on the shelf on the bottom of the clothes. Where if you drop clothes, they're going to land on the shelf right there where the clothes are. So, I decided... To sit down at those clothes and dig and see if I could find some. So the, the Soro is like 20 foot long. So I just sat down right at the end of it. Pushed the clothes over. Started digging just on what's fallen. Almost the second thing that I found were these pair of men's shorts. And um, so I just flipped the tag over. And the tag is a yellow dot. And they have new yellow dot clothes. But this one says right there, summer of 19. Whoops, I'm on the wrong side. Right there says summer of 19. Summer of 19 is last year's yellow dot. So, yellow dots have penny. So I scanned those and those were a penny. So that was all the clothes that I found. So, I went on up the row, and I found a box of socks. So, in this box of socks, I started digging. And I dug almost down to the bottom of the box. And I just dug down there and pulled up what I could from the bottom to rotate it. And I pulled up this. It's a pair of ladies' boot socks. And I know... I've never seen them carry boot socks before, but there they are, ladies' boot socks. And Miss Peggy's got a pair of boots. And when I looked on the back, it's a gray star. And gray stars are winter socks that have pennied. And there you go. FW right there. Fall and winter of 19. So I didn't find any gray star socks, because those are the ones that just pennied. But I found some old penny socks. I was tickled about that. 
Now these are, you know, they're long socks, and even if I don't wear them with my boots, I can wear them just to keep my feet warm in the winter time. So I'm real excited about these. Miss Peggy found her some peeny socks. I don't know if that's getting me a mukbang. I mean, a mukbang getting me a screenshot or not. But I was stoked about that. So, two cents. I got a pair of pants. got some socks. That's half dressed, right? So, then I went down in the aisle where they keep the um, school supplies. And... I was digging around on the bottom shelf, and I don't even remember what was on the bottom shelf, but behind everything on the bottom shelf, these were in the crack, sticking up. And I had to reach down there and pull them out because they were stuck, and they had fallen down from the top. And these are, I imagine, I imagine... And they're like little mechanical pencils. Aren't those cute? Now I got two packs of them. And um, on the back, it says S19. Even though it doesn't have a dot, it does say it's from last year. So I scanned them, and they were both a penny. So I got me some mechanical pencils. So... <clears throat> got me a mechanical pencil and a ruler so I can be drawing now and also right up by the front when I was checking out I was standing right next to this it was the only one on the rack and I was like well I know they're burning people's faces and everything and some of them say they're recalled but um, this was on the shelf so I got it so, yes to the tomato. So this is a charcoal, a charcoal mask for your face. So, and that was on the 17th. And the 17th was on Wednesday. And, um, I got... Okay, so this is just for the mud mask. I'm not sure where my pencils are. But I think this has got the pencils on it. Yeah, mechanical pencils right here on the bottom. You see those mechanical pencils right there on the bottom. And then this was stuck on the bottom too in the back with the pencils. So, um, I knew some post-its had pennied, and this one is the one that pennied, because it was a penny. And, let's see, there is no date on the back, but here's the barcode, just in case you can find them at your store. These are the ones that are pennied. They're all yellow, so they're not multiple colors, so... Got me a ruler, pencils, and some notepads down. So I can definitely take some notes. Now, this store right here, I'm going to show you. I'm going to stop this video, and I'm going to start this video because this store is the one that I've never been in because I had to go to a couple. I went to seven different shoe stores, so I was all around town. So this store I've never been to. This store is a sur suburban town south of my town so this isn't even in my town so i never go there so i just slid right in there because i never went there and you know my car won't let me pass a dollar generous if i don't so i found 28 pennies in this store now let me stop this show you that video and i'll be right back Everything in my bag come out of that basket right there. They just had them waiting on me.
Okay, you see that? They had this basket sitting right by the front door. You walk in the door, and it was just sitting right to the left, almost right in front of the umbrellas. And it had a sign on it. It said one dollar. Everything's one dollar. I looked in there, and I go, well, I think there might be some pennies in that dollar basket. So I got my basket, and I started scanning stuff. So I scanned these two folders, the triangle ones, and the little striped ones, both a penny. I got two of this one and just one of that one. So I threw those in my basket. And then I saw this little party item and it's a hanging decoration. And it is also a penny. So that scanned a penny. And these were all in a basket just sitting by the front door. And here's another party thing. Scanned a penny. Then I saw some makeup in the bottom of that. And I was pretty sure that this makeup is the one that pennied not long ago. And I scanned it and it was a penny. So, then I saw these Despicable Me's and I'm pretty sure those were a penny. So I scanned them and put them in my basket. And then they had this cute little sack. And this little sack is like a Valentine's sack. So, um, it even had a pink sticker on it. Which is like a Valentine's sticker. And it says S20 on it. Which is Valentine's of this year. And I scanned it. And it was a penny. So, got a little pretty Valentine's sack. And then, Shopskins. I didn't get in any of these. This is a little Shopskins tablecloth. It scanned a penny. And then this vacuum bag. And this won't fit my vacuum bag. But this vacuum bag probably I can make filters for my face mask with this. So this vacuum bag, even though I can't use it on my vacuum, I can use it to repurpose. And then here's another vacuum bag. It's a Hoover YMZ. And it was a penny. So I got two vacuum bags that I can repurpose. Then I got me some Shopskins napkins. They was a penny. And then I found these Dollar General um, cold and cough and they're expired but you know medicine don't expire that's just a sell by date don't throw good stuff away just because it expires those are just sell by dates do not eat by dates then I found this this is a face mask but it's not a triangle like these say yes mask it's a little round mask and I saw the purple tag on it, which is a Christmas holiday gift set tag, is the purple squares. So I scanned it, and it's uh, a penny. And it doesn't say, but it looks like it's a watermelon mask. What do you think? Watermelon? Yeah. <laughs> then they had some of these... Um, Despicable Me paper plates. <laughs> Scanned up a penny. And then here's some more bracelets. Despicable Me bracelets. I already got one. Now I got two of them. Those were a penny. And then I've been seeing people with these yard sale signs. This is no trespassing. And I am going to use this and put it up. No trespassing. 
because I have a sign now. So I can put up a no trespassing sign. Never had one before, but I'm going to use it now. A penny. And then this is a happy birthday tiara for a little girl. Having a happy birthday, she can wear that little tiara that says happy birthday. And uh, another Shopskins tablecloth. And um, it says YY19. I don't know why, why, uh, year 19, I guess. But there it is right there. It says year 19. So those are a penny. So I got quite a bit of stuff from Shopskins. I got two tablecloths. And I got the napkins, so I'm doing good on the shop skins. And then um, this is a scented shade with stand home collection. I don't know what that is. It's just a little scent home collection thing. Scratch, scratch and sniff. It doesn't say what fragrance, but it's a Febreze, and that was a penny. I don't remember any of those ever opinion. And then this little ball, it is a ball that has water in it. See that little ball in there? It's like a little car. Um, let's see. It doesn't say what brand. But anyway, it is a blue dot. And you know all the blue dot toys had pennied. So... Keep your eye out for them blue dot toys because they're still out there. And then I found this. An L.A. Color uh, Lipstick. Concealer Lipstick. And it was a penny. So at this point, I'm pretty much cleaning out that basket. And then this is a Bell, Bell Necklace. That's pretty. I love necklaces, so I'm going to wear that. Oh, it's a head wrap. It's for your head. Okay, that'll be pretty. That's going to be pretty. I like that. So, uh, let me show you the barcode. I don't know how long ago this has been pennied. But, it doesn't have a date on it. But that's pretty. That's a good find. And then, look at these. St. Patrick's Day. I don't even think I've gotten any St. Patrick's Day stuff. But this is a St. Patrick's Day necklace. My battery went dead. And then also I got one of those little pins with the wobbly head. I don't know if that's a duck or what. But it was a penny. And if you see any of those little ducks... See if I can get me a uh, Snapchat. Uh, what do you call a thumbnail? <laughs> that little fella. But he was a penny. And then there was some lipstick in there. It's a mega stick. Wet and wild. Moisturizing lip. And it's a pink one. And that was a penny. And then I had one more of those makeups. And those are a penny. So I did pretty good at that store. So um, here's my receipt. And when I took it up to the front, I told that guy, I was like, well, you just had all these sitting over there waiting for me, didn't you? And um, they are every one of those are a penny. There was 28 items, 28 cents. I love it when, it when it does that. So, that was a good find at that store. Then, yesterday, I went to a store that I knew was an NCI store because I wanted to scan some stuff and put it in my phone to the list because I'm trying to find a, a remodel store 
and I'm not having any luck with it, but I did find three little pennies, and I want to show you. I found this mother-in-law pillow that is about, I mean, a Mother's Day gift that just pennied. Now, this pillow was in the toy aisle. It was behind some toys. It was just laying on like the eye level shelf in the toys and I was scrounging around on there and I found this pillow. So I think that's a good find. So oh, if you need to like rest your little head, perfect little head pillow. And then I found um, this. Now this is a red square from last year. <coughs> And it was also in the toy section, just laying on the shelf. And it is a red square. And I'll see if it has a date on it. I can see it's from last year. Actually, it says L18. So that is from the year of 18. So it's two years old. But it was in there with the toys. And it just has a yellow square sticker on it. Now this was um, down in with the, is in the box of balls. That's where I found this. This was in the box of balls. And it's just a little lip smacker. And it was a penny. So I did good. I went to three different stores this week. Um, trying to find me some sloppy joes, didn't find them. So, let me find my list under here. And the penny list this week is some candy. We've got the Swedish Fish Mini, and they are peg bags. And I saw some of that my dollars, you know, just yesterday when I was up there. And they're on an end cap, but they're on the side of an end cap. And there's peg pegs, and they've got the Sour Patch, and they've got the Swedish. So, um, and the Swedish ones is 7046200 Then you got the Sour Patch Kid Watermelon, and they're also a peg bag. And that's 7046200 Four, four. And then you've got the Flips White Fudge. And those are chocolate covered pretzels. And they're also in a peg bag. And there are 8721810500540. And then they got the Haribo, you know, the Haribo candies. And they are the Passport Mix 4 ounces. And it's 422. Three eight seven eight zero oh, one three two, and then we've got three hair brushes. The hair brushes is the wet brush. That's the brand name. It says wet brush. I haven't seen any of these in the clearance aisle, so they might be in the regular aisle. But there's three of them. There's a purple mini one, and there's a pink uh, pop go one that flips out. It has a mirror with it. And it's a pop. And then there's one that's called a Shine Enhancer. And the Shine Enhancer is supposed to be like a detangler. But anyway, let me get off of here and um, show you the visuals. Because I've got the visuals for these. I've uh, attached the barcodes to them. So you can just screenshot the picture of it. And it's going to have the barcode right there with it. So, adios from North Texas. And goodbye from Cowtown. And when will I see you? At the Dollar Generous on Tuesday. What time? 8 o'clock. Don't ask the Dollar General employees about these penny items. You just go in there and find them. Match the barcode. Be confident. Take them up there to the register. And don't get a price check. I love y'all. And I'll talk to y'all later.